I mean, there's, there's no one who's who's completely normal in this series, which is probably quite realistic. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the producer of Free Agents, Nara Park. This is James Griffiths, the director. And this is uh, Magni Augustson, uh, director of photography, or cinematographer, or camera operator, or cameraman. This is um, Stephen Mangan, who plays Alex, <laughs> the character Alex. I do. Alex is... Um, this is Chris Neal, and he's the bloke what wrote this. Yeah, Alex is, um, you know, in his sort of mid-30s, he looks after young talent at CMA. Um, and as a result of looking after young talent, he doesn't make that much cash. But he, uh, you know, loves his job, uh, which is a good thing, because his life is basically falling apart at the moment. He just um, split up with his wife and walked out on her and his kids. And so he's... Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's in the lowest uh, place he's probably ever been in. And Sharon Horgan, who plays Helen. I do. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Helen uh, same sort of, is the same sort of age. She's probably a more successful agent than Alex. Uh, again, you know, probably a good thing that she's, she's got something to keep her occupied because about almost a year ago, her fiancé... Uh, dropped dead a few months before the wedding and just as Alex suffered divorce she's been suffering the sort of trauma of bereavement and uh, she's been coping with that by drinking an awful lot. That's Anthony, he's playing Stephen. Yeah, Stephen is the, is the boss of the agency. It's sort of a mark in a way uh, uh, of how far you can um, get in this business on sheer force of personality and charisma that people, you know, go with him because he's incredibly charming. He, he has a slightly darker side to his personality. <laughs> I mean, he talks the talk um, in terms of some fairly outrageous and extreme, uh, promiscuous, slightly dark sexual behaviour. Whether he actually does half of it is, is, is another matter. You'd hope he doesn't do more than half it because Otherwise, he's probably be in prison. This is Matthew. He's playing Dan. Dan is the kind of agent that I wouldn't have him in my flat for dinner, but I'm glad he's on my team. Kind of thing. He he's a furious, ferocious deal maker, um, but he's a appalling human being. <laughs> Right, I'm not gonna. I gave you a fucking hamper, right? I said fucking I gave left. You a fucking left! I'm Sarah Pascoe and I'm playing the part of Emma. Emma is, um, well, she's really Dan's assistant and Helen's assistant. She has no respect for Alex in particular. Uh, she's kind of thinks she could probably do the job better than him, and uh, she's just incredibly sort of stroppy and, and um, uh, lippy and um, disapproves of his Alex's personal life constantly. Yeah, Alex and Helen probably, you know, they've worked together for quite a while, but since they both landed in, you know, their, sh their sort of life both started to fall apart, it's sort of like, you know, they're the, the kind of area finalists in the uh, biggest losers of 2009. And I think, you know, one night they go to a, uh, you know, they went uh, a sort of work do, get drunk and fall into bed together. And the series essentially tracks them from that sort of one fairly disastrous one night stand and, and follows their sort of relationship really, the, the difficulties of having a relationship when you're carrying an awful lot of emotional baggage. Uh, everybody's kind of got their issues, everybody's as strangely sort of screwed up as Alex and Helen and it's sort of about that, how basically you, by the time you get to your 30s, you know, and, and, and on from there, so often in your 20s, you know, people start to get madder and madder basically.